E, e, e. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. New year, new master rule. And by that, I mean, does Yu-Gi-Oh need a new master rule? Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here. And destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. So... I don't want to put it in a bottle and breastfeed it to you. I just want to dive on in to this discussion. I was thinking of a couple different things I want to talk about in my head. But this is what I want to discuss. Because with a new year of Yu-Gi-Oh! always comes the same discussions. Does Yu-Gi-Oh! need, uh, what do they call that, uh, set rotation? No, it doesn't. Uh, some people say, are we getting a new summoning mechanic? Some people say, are we getting a new master rule? And what's interesting is that someone actually commented on my uh, ban list video when I first covered the ban list came out. Uh, fun fact, I was actually the first on YouTube to cover that. Uh, it was not on YouTube by the time I had my video uploaded. I'm just saying. <laughs> but something that someone had commented on my ban list reveal video was that someone said all of these hits are because Konami is going to introduce a new game mechanic, new summon mechanic, new master rules, something like that to the game. And I instantly shot it down. I'm like, no. Konami's not going to do that. Like, they're not going to suddenly introduce a new Master Rule to the game. And I think if Konami wanted to introduce a new Master Rule, I feel like that they would have done it at some point this month in January. And I don't even really see where there's a release window where uh, Konami could drop a Master Rule update or some sort of new summoning mechanic. Because we're getting the two-player starter deck set thing. Uh, we get Maze of Millennia in just a couple weeks, and then in February, we get Phantom Nightmare. So there's not really a spot where Konami could drop some sort of update that would make sense with everything else that's coming to the game. I just don't see it. I feel like if they wanted to do that, they would have announced something like that late December, earlier, well, actually at the beginning of January, just a couple days ago, if they really wanted to do something like that. Because then the, the sets that were dropping would kind of make more sense. And even then, Konami has kind of shot themselves in the foot lately with that because it's like every two months we're getting something new. You know, even look at what's coming out right now. Like, we get Maze of Millennia, not even a month later we get Phantom Nightmare, and then not even two months later we get Legacy of Destruction, it's like, we've got all the gas in this bitch. <laughs> like, it's insane. And so, it does beg the question, though. If, me personally, doesn't don't think that we're going to be getting uh, a new Master Rule update, could we, at some point, see another Master Rule update? Could we see a brand new summoning mechanic? And <laughs> I'm sure people are already getting pissed off in my comments. Avery, the game's complicated enough as it is. The game is fast as it is. And it's like, relax your anus, make your tits calm, let's just discuss the possibilities. <laughs> and what's funny is that I look back on things that the community has suggested from years past, and I remember there was one, it may have been Farfa or someone else, that suggested hyper summoning, where you had these red cards and you could summon a bunch of monsters, right? And I feel like Konami kind of listened to the community at that point, in a sense. Because if you think about it, you have pendulum monsters that have the blue scales and the red scales. And so, you know, one side's blue, one side's red. You know, you get the red scale and stuff. Granted, it's the most complicated uh, mechanic to learn in the game, I would argue. Because I've seen players getting into the game or back into the game that are like, I understand Link summoning and everything else, but Pendulum summoning just doesn't make no sense. And as someone who's been playing the game for 16 years competitively, to me, now that I know how to do it, it's easy. But at the same time, someone who hasn't played the game in a long time or is brand new, it can be difficult to learn not just all the summoning mechanics, but then Pendulum summoning on top of that. And I feel like that's why we don't see Pendulum decks doing that well overall. Like, the new Zark support came out, but, like, Zark is garbage. Like, no one's playing fucking Zark. Like, Dinomorphia can play the Zark trap, but even then, like, Dinomorphia is garbage. Like, <laughs> no one's playing that trash. And so, if they were to give us a new summoning mechanic, what could they even do at this point? Because I feel like maybe within the next couple years, maybe Konami will give us some sort of update. I don't think for the next 10 years moving forward, Konami is going to keep the game as is and not add any more else to it. Maybe in a couple years, they give us a Master Rule update where, you know, maybe they patch some holes and some rulings and stuff, or maybe they do just give us a new summoning mechanic. Maybe they limit how many actions you can do during the opponent's turn. I mean, I'm just spitballing things here that they could do. They don't necessarily have to give us a new summoning mechanic. But in regards to a summoning mechanic, 
I don't really think there's anything else that they could do, at least extra deck wise. I think if anything, if they wanted to give us a new summoning mechanic, I feel like that they would have to push back up the number of cards you could have in your extra deck. Because you got to keep in mind, back in like the early 2000s, there was no limit to how many cards in your extra deck you could have. Now, if you played like the old Game Boy and DS games before that rule took effect, they capped it out to 30. But you could actually just have as many as you wanted. So everybody just played three of all of the best fusion monsters, because back then it was called the fusion deck. Uh, they just played three of everything so that you just had options, especially if you were playing like Metamorphosis at the time. But I don't think Konami will ever increase it past 15. I've heard some people say they should increase it to 20. I heard that shit for years. And it's like, why? You know, this was back especially when we had Exceeds. We didn't even have Links and Pendulums and stuff. And everybody's like, well, if they push it up to 20, everybody's going to play a small Utopia package just to have access to, you know, Utopia, Utopic Future, you know, all those things that we had at the time. Utopia Lightning, all that. And so I think pushing the extra deck up to 20 can never really be an option. I think the extra deck is so much of a utility that even just pushing it up one more card does so much for every deck, but especially for the meta decks. You know, how often do you hear someone say, you know, I wanted to play, I don't know, TG Wonder Magician. I'm just pulling a card out of my ass. But And they're like, the extra deck was so tight that I just didn't have the space. Or they say, I, I would play Abyss Dweller or Baguska, but the extra deck is so tight, I just didn't have the space. That one or two, even, extra slots could mean the difference in how good a deck can actually be. Like, that's how much of a utility the extra deck is now in 2024. You know, imagine you're playing even Snake Eye Fire Kings. You've got a 15-card extra deck, and, you know, based on the cards that you're playing, what if, you know... Konami said, okay, you have 16 or 17 cards in your extra deck now, or hell, 20. People will be maxing out on SP Little Knights, Promethean Fire Princesses, like the whole kit and caboodle, just because they have the space. So if they end up in a situation where they're like in a grind game, they've got those three SP Little Knights to just uh, push through to have that, that grindy gas, for lack of a better term. I know I'm sounding like a word salad right now, but you get my point. And so... I really don't think the game should ever change, at least for the foreseeable future. I think that the master rules that we have in place right now are perfect. I think that, yes, there are things in the game that a lot of people don't talk about, like the the rulings of because Konami said so. But in reality, how often does that come up in the competitive landscape? Like, never. Like, if someone was playing Mystical Ref Panel competitively, like, if that became a competitive card, then okay, then we're talking. But, like, you look at Mystical Ref Panel, that card is a whole nonsense of rulings of because Konami said so. And that card's garbage. Like, nobody plays it. And so, I think outside of that niche thing of this is a ruling because Konami said so, I don't really think that there's anything inherently wrong with the game in 2024. I'm sure, I'm sure some people are going to say, well, Avery, the game's too fast and blah, blah, blah. Everything is just combo, combo. Look, that's what the fucking game has become. I'm sorry. Like, you have to find a deck that works for you and play that and slowly practice and get better at the game. You know, don't be like my dad who used to be a decent player and then he played Mystic Mind for four years and he became a scrub because of it because he got to be ignorant to four years of Yu-Gi-Oh moving past him or however long the card was legal. So, like, he just he became a scrub from that point on and he's never recovered uh, just because the game has gotten even more complicated than since when Mystic Mind came out. In Mystic Mind, you didn't have to think. You just played out the card, whipped out your diddly, and proceeded to play with yourself. Like, that's not Yu-Gi-Oh. That's no skill. Like, I'm sorry you don't have skill. Like, we're not talking about that. We're talking about how can the game evolve and be better because there's a reason why the game has lasted for 25 years. And it's not because it's the same as fucking GOAT format in 2005. It's just not Sugar Boo Bear. If you want to play that format... Go to Time Wizard format. Like, there you go. There's another format. Speaking of side formats, Konami left a bunch of money on the damn table when they didn't do turbo dueling. Like, could you imagine if we had, you know, speed spell, pot of greed, remove 10 speed counters, draw two? Like, don't make it legal for the actual game. But as, like, a side format, like, yeah, they have speed dueling, but that's not turbo dueling. Like, I don't know. Turbo dueling would have been really cool. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I mean, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a really good spot. I don't really think we need any new summoning mechanics. I think uh, the majority of people would agree that the game is confusing enough as it is and complicated enough as it is that for new and old players alike, there are a lot of things that can slip by you that you may not know just because the game is so complicated. I, for one, I will proudly declare, I sometimes forget whether or not you can use a Link 3 monster as a Link 1 or 2 material. 
and sometimes I forget if you can even use it for like a Link 4 material. Like it, it's it gets confusing in that regard. Like I remember when Links first came out and I was trying to use Nightmare Unicorn as like a Link 1 or a Link 2 material, something like that. Like you can only use it for like a Link 2 or 3 or something. Uh, like uh, even that is something like I don't know off the top of my head. Like it doesn't come up often, but it's something that you should know. And again, that goes back to how complicated the game is to be also i'm sorry if you just heard a giant bump i accidentally bumped into my microphone because i'm stupid guys let me know what you think down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video